Pops, what do you have? What do you have? Pops has got a frog. No! Don't bring that in the house! Okay, guys, it is Saturday, and Hubby and I just got back from our buck ride, and we're spending some time. Hubby's over there. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> With the cats. And letting the cats really enjoy being outside. So, Gary did not come over for Fix It Friday this week, so I'm going solo. I'm recording this on Saturday, probably a little bit tomorrow, and, um, and then I will post on Friday. So, uh... Yesterday, I came out here and we did some of this. My sister and her husband came out and and edged and trimmed the whole yard for me. Um, I need to mow the lawn, so there's that. So, I'm almost done with this area and I'm gonna need to go buy some mulch. Was gonna get rid of this tree and hubby said no now because the cats like to climb it, at least for now. We probably will, eventually. Um, I'm going to get some fertilizer for the um, plants. I have some, I think, in the backyard and stuff. And so all this is, I guess it's the same. Yeah, it's doing good. And I know, Javi said he wanted me to um, do this area first <laughs> before we moved on, but I got, I got, I don't know, I got irritated with this area. So sometimes you just gotta do what you feel like doing. So that's doing really good. I need to plant the other one. Um, the tie plant from the patio is doing good. Everything is looking good. Um, yeah. Everything is doing good. Well, except for these. Yeah, I think we're going to cut them down eventually and see if they grow back. See, there's still some, the roots that's growing up there and stuff. So, and this is still green, but hubby's not ready for me to do that yet. Are ya? All right, so I need to plant that in a pot. Uh, I do have a pot on the side yard. And I need to finish weeding just this little bit. And I need to get Hubby to move this out of the way. Yeah, so that's the progress so far. Still have all this mess to do. So, and I need to pressure wash the stones and stuff. Oh, it's windy. I don't know if y'all can hear me. So I've been working on doing this where I'm like lifting. I can get it out. Lifting these stones up and then putting some uh, bricks up and putting some stones to lift it up higher because the mulch was flowing over into this is where the drain goes. It was flowing over into it. So I'm gonna raise it up and then I'm gonna get the pressure washer and pressure wash all that. And this is our new swing. I did show it in a vlog video, but this is a new swing. It's not staying there. It's gonna go over there um, eventually, but for right now it's going here until we figure out what to do with this swing. In fact, the um, bougainvillea, it still needs trimmed a little bit. I might take the bricks and extend them out to here. Yeah, cause it's just killing the grass. And anyway, um, so my brother-in-law, we'd whacked all that down and we found a hole. The cats were hiding over here and then there was a hole. I don't know, I feel like something was digging under there. We'll just have to see what happens. I think it's mold, but that's an awful big hole for moles. Oh, look, I needed this. I needed that for the back, back area. I'm wondering, oh, that might not be moles. That might be from the drain. Huh. Huh. Well, I talked to Todd Hubby about that. Okay. I managed to get the drain attached, and so then it's going to flow that way away from the house. I think we did ourselves in by putting this cistern here. I don't know, water barrel, whatever it is. It's from our old water tank. We thought we would use it to put some water in because to, if we have a hurricane, then we have water to flush toilets with. It's completely full. So I've mentioned many times that we've had so much rain and guess what? 
we're getting a whole nother week of rain because that hurricane coming, it's not coming toward us, it's not hurricanes, tropical storm, tropical depression, I don't know. So it's going up in the Gulf, but we will be getting some rain from it, um, a whole week's worth. I got, that's why I got my own alarm before that happens. So some of it's mowed. I gotta do the rest. Um, so I need to go Home Depot and buy one, another one of these for the back corner. I'll show you that and get some dirt to, um, from somewhere to fill this in. I was thinking it was an animal. I think that was from the drain. I had no idea. Oopsie. This is unsightly. It's driving me nuts. I want to get this done, but it ain't happening. So I have a, a, a pot down there that I can pull to put the other um, arrange, flower arrangement thing in there. Um, some of this stuff can go like this. This is garbage. This is garbage. Ugh. And this is garbage. So oh, maybe I could clean it up a little bit. Hmm. That's definitely garbage, too. All right, so they weed whacked all this. Yeah. I'm gonna, I guess the spout thingy, I don't know. I need to buy another one of those for here. We had the like cement ones and I don't know why it got removed. I don't know, maybe I did that. Oops. That was so long back there. I can get rid of that, that's garbage was cleaning the patio a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely a two-man job. Um, yeah. Okay, so here's where it's also caving in. So there's the cement drain. Can you see that right here? It's sinking down. It's broken, it got broken. And, and even with the, the cement drain, it's still making a divot into the um, grass. So. I was thinking maybe I caused that because I mean, removed some of those. I wasn't thinking, and, but it, it did it anyways. So I'm gonna get two more of those tuby things, whatever. Two, three, three more? I don't know, Two, at least two more of those from Home Depot and fix that problem before it gets worse. I this new hose, you might've heard me mention it in um, a video, I didn't know where to put it, but I, I attached it, so this is to water the front, and I was gonna run it under there, but I couldn't finagle that, because I would have to fit in that space. I don't know, it wasn't gonna work, I don't, and then run it along the garage, but sometimes I'll need it to water these plants and stuff, so I'm just gonna buy a, a hose, wrap around thing, <laughs> and maybe attach it to here, or to the wall over there for this is to water the plants in the front and yeah so I strung it along here with some zip ties so it wasn't hanging down and stuff like we did there yeah because once again we do have a hose bib in the front but it's the house water which has the salt softener stuff in it so this needs to be well water and the only way to connect to it is from here i have a um i don't know a y thingy whatever you want to call it um so this is for there and then this is for the back patio and then this is for the front yard and then you turn it you ha and I could have another one too if I needed it. And then you just turn this on and off to switch them. I spread yeah. some salt from the softener after my brother-in-law weed whacked in here to try to kill these weeds. Yeah, they just, because this thing drips. I need to get a pipe for that too. Because it was, I think I mentioned this before, it was connected here. But the AC guy came and disconnected it because it kept getting clogged because it drains over there somewhere. But it can't. I'm going to have it drain somewhere else. It can't. It's just creating a problem here. Um, box for my bag. I got my new box. Um, I think I said that already because we went for a bike ride or maybe I didn't. Because I'm vlogging two videos in one. I'm doing a weekend vlog and then... Um, 
this Fix It Friday vlog. I hope we don't get the two confused. All right, so I'm gonna get my the gas tank and I'm gonna go get some gas for the mower since I'm already dirty. Might as well mow the lawn before it rains. Cause we're I think we're supposed to get like a week of rain, so and it's looking already kind of cloudy. Crap. Oh, I would need my purse. That might be helpful. Sometimes just look lovely. So my hair looks a little funny because it's so short. So when I put it back in the headband, um, it looks a little odd. All right, I gotta go down to the gas station. Let's just take a few minutes from here. It's not around the corner because we are rural um, city and that kind of stuff is not allowed here. No stores, nothing. As far as I know, anyway, I don't know what all the rules are, but yeah, they don't allow stuff like that. So I have to go to the next city over. But it's like eight minutes. <laughs> I live right, like right on the border of the other city. Anyway, I think I've told you that. It takes like 10, 12 minutes to get to Publix. So we don't have any grocery stores. But Hubby and I keep, keep saying that, um, we would love if there was just like a little general store to pick up a few things. Some milk or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I want to get gas and uh, mow the lawn. And that'll probably be it for um, today. And then I will include tomorrow's um, if we go to Home Depot and get some mulch and some rocks. And what else did I say? We need the drain tubey thingies, whatever those are called. I need to write a list. I guess I can watch this part of the video back and remember. And uh, a hose hanger thing. Um, yeah. So that's good. Okay, I thought of one thing that I wanted to tell you that I had forgot. So um, I needed to put that drain thing on and I asked hubby to do it. And he's like, eh you can do it. And I'm like, seriously, dude, come on, help me. So, but you know what? I did it. And guess what? So, um, I have not made major improvements since March because I've been doing all this exercising and trying to eat healthy. Kind of slacked off this last month. But anyway, I need to, um, I'm doing a water challenge. And anyway, so, Bending over is much easier, much easier. It's not, it's not so much. And um, I didn't show myself weeding because it's not a pleasant sight. But sitting in that, um, that little green chair that I have, it, it just hurts my back. So it's just easier if I sit on, sit on the ground, lay that blanket. Well, it's actually a mattress cover. Lay that mattress cover, cushion my butt, and um, so, but what I didn't like doing before is doing that because getting up from the ground when you're 56 years old and a little a lot of overweight <laughs> is hard. Guess what? Not so hard anymore. I mean, it's still a little bit hard, but I'd like it to be easier. But all this exercising, lifting weights and walking, riding my bike, drinking water, you know, trying to eat foods to reduce my inflammation, which I need to start doing green smoothies again. It's all helping. Little bits. Each thing is a little bit better. Each thing, you know, my aches and pains are a little bit better. My bending over is a little bit better. My energy is a, uh, my energy is a lot better. Let's just face it here. So, anyway, I'm almost at the gas station. So, we'll see you in a little bit. I finished mowing the lawn and I hosed off the golf cart and it's windy and the lawnmower I'm gonna put it away I uh, blew out that side of the garage blew that out with the leaf blower I probably should clean up this side of the garage I kind of want to make that a thing when I mow the lawn to clean up the garage every time 
and not happy and I'm tired. Like I said, 20 miles on the bike. And I kind of need to get rid of this first. And that's not going to happen until Thursday when the recycle comes. So, uh, whatever. Or I'll have Gary help me. Um, tag team is much better. Alright, let me put the lawnmower away, the golf cart away. Don't you want to know how I filmed that? <laughs> I just stuck the, my phone right between my knees and held it. Anyway, all right, so yeah. Alright, that's it. Uh, I'm going inside to take a shower and I will see you in this video tomorrow um, when I go to Home Depot and get a few things and finish up uh, that little bit of the front area. I'm a hot mess. It is Monday morning, so I didn't do anything on Sunday because we lost electricity and yeah, so that none of that happened where I was going to go to Home Depot and stuff. I think I'm going to wait on it. So I think I'm going to clean up this area. Um, oh, I forgot. I was going to get the wagon and um, throw some of this stuff away um, and make use of some other stuff. Yeah, it's a mess. These, I think these shelves are going to go. Um, really only need the two. I'll take that one apart and I don't know what to do with it. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go get the wagon so I can throw some of this stuff away. Um, yeah, look, it's falling apart. So that can all go. I can save the, this pot, but I can just take out all the weeds and that's some good dirt there. I'm going to take out a good chunk of this because I'm going to make sure I get all the weeds and stuff. Anyway, let me go get the wagon. So, I can, for now, I can put this over there so the water drains somewhat away from the house until I can get to Home Depot. There is one there. It just was so covered up, sunk into the ground because of how much, hmm water we had so let me see what i can finagle all right i got the wagon i thought i could do that with the rake but i need the shovel so um update on this it rained last night and there's a puddle of water i don't know if that's leaking i'll have to see if hubby can put that on better but in the meantime it just may be because of the rain it just puddled so because it can't drain this way. Anyway, I have some potting soil. It's old. I might as well just use it to fill that in. And um, for now until maybe all of this. Just throw that in. I gotta, I gotta do something about that water. Which is fine because then uh, it get, I get rained on and stuff. So I had to take a break because we're still getting the bands, the outer bands from Tropical Storm. Um, I don't know. Is it a hurricane now? It was a hurricane. Then it wasn't a hurricane. I don't know. Eta, Eta, whatever. No worries, guys. It is the eye of the storm is in the middle of the Gulf. So it's far from us. I'm on the East Coast, but we are getting some rain and some wind. We like we lost electricity. All right. So I filled all that in, packed it down the best I could. Tried to slope it a little bit so the water drains this way. Um, I'm wondering if we should have slid that platform. There's no way of doing that now unless we drain the whole thing. Slid that platform this way. See how it's... I don't know why we did that. 
There must have been a reason. Yeah, because I think the water's like dripping off in there. Problem. So whenever, whenever, if we use all this up and it runs dry, we'll move it. Um, I probably could do that because we're gonna get so much rain that it'll fill back up, but I'll probably, probably say no. Anyway, so cleaning it up. Those two, those, so I got, got through uh, a bunch of dirt. Use that up. Those two buckets are broken, so that's, those are going. Let's see what else I can, that's garbage. Let's see what else I can clean up here. All right, done for now. This is phase one. <laughs> you know the plan to put rock down here and stuff and get either a shed or, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a shed. So we are going to use these planters on the back patio and we're in the middle of redoing that. Um, I know I'm all over the place, but this is just what happens. Whatever. I can't do. I can't do this all at one time. I just do it in little pieces. Like I said, hubby's been working on the front porch um, in the mornings. So while he's out there, I'm sitting there having my coffee, and then I'll just get up and do a little weeding, and yeah, you know, like an hour. Or so it's kind of been working out. So anyway, so this probably can go, but you know. I gotta have hubby's permission and that can go probably and just have it condensed down to two. So those we're going to use and then these are extras and I got rid of a lot because it had holes in them and I still have some on the other side of the house, the potting bench, um, which I might get another one and stick it here. I don't know. If Suncast will, will, um, sponsor me <laughs> anyway, um, also, too, this was covering up, this shelf was covering up the cap to the sewer. That was not smart. <laughs> anyway, there really wasn't a whole lot on that. But I didn't know what to do with that shelving. This all used to be in the garage. But it is falling apart because the sun can't take it because it's not Suncast. Suncast brand. And this was all temporary anyway. I was not going to leave that here. Um, I might have Gary make me a fence coming from behind the uh, rain barrel and then come out here a little bit to hide that and then rock and a potting bench, maybe a small shed, one of those really slim sheds just to put some yard tools in. I would love that because I, they just are not working in the garage. Some yard tools and some pots and stuff in there. Just, I think there's one that's like a four by seven so it would come out four feet what what is this like two that's even kind of big i don't want it to come out that far i don't know i'll see um yeah i heard suncat uh well suncast brand is good too but it also turned lifetime is it lifetime i don't know put your recommendation down for a um a shed a plastic one <laughs> so um yeah look at this i have got and my windows are filthy oh, look oh my gosh so i gotta take this down to ace because i need soon i'll be able to open the windows up a lot we did open up a little bit but my windows all need clean the screens need fixed the sandhill cranes come over here and peck this because the lizards um climb into the screen and then they go and they peck the heck out of it and stuff. Um, when they come, they come from over there. It's like they travel the same path every day when they come here. Anyway, I'm going to throw all this garbage away and uh, do something with the weeds. I forgot to put the weed trash out to the road this morning or yesterday because that was sidetracked by the electricity problem. And... Um, yeah, because it's Monday is yard trash day. So I forgot to do that. So I'm going to do that now. Because I'm sure there will be more. All right, that's it for now. I don't know if I'll add more to this video. Um, I have to see how long this is. But um, I, I should put the top on that. I did buy some mosquito stuff. I should have done that a long time ago. From Amazon, it's coming. Um, mosquito pellet. Repellent. I don't know what they are. The little round discs just stick in there so the mosquitoes don't get in there. But I can't put that top on myself. Hubby needs to help me. 
And I really want to get rid of this. I don't know why he's saving that blue thing. We don't need that. That's from our old water. He thought he was going to do something with it, and he never has. And that has water in it. We really don't need it, and I could use it for a trash, um, yard trash, because I'm always filling up uh, barrels with yard trash. One barrel is on the back patio right now. One's in the front. And, um, yeah. He says he uses that to water the plants sometime. I'm like, I don't think so, dude. You ain't been doing yard work in a while. Anyway, <laughs> I said that. Anyway, this is totally full, and I have a bucket right here. Easy. You can just turn that thing, and, um, you turn this little handle, and the water comes out. So, um, yeah, I think pretty good start on this, and then Gary can do the rest. Oh, I forgot. I need to get the shovel, because I need to do that drain. Uh, let me go get the shovel. All right, I got the all the trash in the trash barrel. Now I just need to put away the hammer and this wagon. And I really, I intended to clean up the garage. Yeah, that's not happening. Y'all, I'm sore still from that 20-mile bike ride on. Um, on Sunday, it'll happen. It, this will get cleaned up eventually. I'm, you know, I'm over that. Whatever, I can only do so much. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Trying to get over that all or nothing mentality. It's hard when you've done that your whole entire life. Well, let me say this. I tried to do that my whole entire life. I didn't really do it. Hi, so what am I even talking about? Mom, in here, I still need to deadhead that. Um, see, the sun is shining right now, but in, a, in about 15, 20 minutes, it'll get dark again and um, rain. This is going to happen all day. The barrel is full. I really should put the lid on that because I don't, wanna, I don't think there's any hole. I need to put some holes. Have Gary do drill holes in the bottom of this? I don't think there's any holes because that will take on water. See, this used to say recycle only. I really need another one for that because sometimes we have so much recycles that it fills up There's a lid over there i'll get that later and this thing was turned around the other way so it wasn't draining so i found i took this broken one and put it under it it's still too low i'm gonna have to fill it in with dirt or rock or something so and then get that plastic drain probably i don't know Kelvin's on the porch and so is hobbs if you want to see the porch part of the porch video um go watch my weekend vlog uh hubby and i cleaned up part of the porch not the whole thing look at how dirty what what oh that ain't gonna come off probably but we'll get new screens when we get the pool <laughs> whenever that happens i think i probably have enough footage so um i'm going to Put this with the yard trash. Maybe hubby will take that out. He usually does. He takes the yard trash out to the road for me. And I started pulling up, did I tell you this? I started pulling up some of these um, bricks here because they go under the Bougainvillea and make the edging bigger. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Look at how deep the hole is there. And you can see how wet the ground is too. So yeah. Um, cause I have the landscaping material there and then there's not going to be any there and it'll be really weedy. I'm like that makes a difference. It's already weedy. <laughs> that stuff doesn't do any good. I was telling hubby what we should have done, but never would have happened. What we should have done, one, I should, so guys, if you're doing landscaping, spend the money and buy the expensive landscaping stuff that you see from Garden Answers, Laura from Garden Answers. It's like really thick and we didn't spend the money on that it's like commercial grade i don't think you can get that at home depot i don't know where you get it but actually we saw it one time at a like a place that sells mulch and stuff so um in bulk and rocks in bulk um i don't know why we didn't we just didn't because it was expensive so i would one do that and two i would we thought like I said, this ain't, wasn't going to happen. To lay rocks down first. And we didn't want to save rocks. People are like, why didn't you... Even my nephew said that. Why didn't you just put rocks in? Because the, you see, the rocks still grow. I mean, the weeds still grow in the rocks. It's not 
It's not a given. However, if we had put some stuff that drained where the rocks is, we put just pure plastic down, thinking that would help, but stuff grows in the rocks still. It's Florida. Anyway, see how the color of the rocks is the same as the brick? It would just look, it wouldn't look, I don't think it would look nice. Anyway, get to your point, Michelle. So I'm like, yesterday, I'm like, we could have like put a layer of rocks and then put mulch on top of it so that the mulch would, would stay dry. That was the theory, but that would have been really expensive because this is turning to dirt underneath. And then I'm thinking that, see, all this, well, that is actually dirt, but there's landscaping material in here somewhere. There it is. You see it? That's the landscaping. No, oh, it would be helpful if I put the camera on the spot. That's the landscaping material, but the stuff underneath is getting really tiny and it's basically turning into dirt. So that's, that's the problem. So when I'm weeding, I've been taking handfuls of the mulch and just throwing it away, making sure I get all of the seeds and everything from the weeds like this. So I don't even care. I'm not worried about saving any of the mulch. And I'm just going like this, grabbing handfuls just to make sure I get all of the weeds and contaminated mulch. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. That's it for this video. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day.